What do you think happens with him? Oh, I don't know. I don't know who can beat him. Though, I don't know right? who can beat him. Who do you think can beat him? That's a good question. I don't know. Hillary can't. I'm, <laughs> I'm so worried. Duh. Yeah, but I'm so worried she's going to run again. She's going to muscle her way to the top. I don't know who can beat him right now. And I'm, I, I don't know. Why do you think that? Right, and the question right is as like- as things keep going further and further south, what about someone who is a centrist Democrat? Doesn't that make more sense? That someone who's going to, who's a rational person, who's on the right, who's going to look at this person who's maybe uh, economically conservative, but socially liberal and say, this is really yeah, where I'm Yeah, unless they run towards. someone on the far left and like on, on an identity politics platform. Uh, right, that's right, what right. scares me. Yeah, that's not going to work. We, well, could yeah. it though? Because I don't think so. I don't know, because Trump's whole thing was- Screw the center. I just need to make my base go apeshit crazy for me. But they're still apeshit crazy. And no matter what I he know, does. And I'm worried that the left, the, the Democrats are going to try and replicate that strategy and be like, we just need to make our base go apeshit crazy rather than running someone that can win the center. I, I see where you're going. But I think that pe- <laughs> this is maybe my liberal bias. But I think that people on the left wouldn't fall for that the same way people on the right would. I don't think people on the left who saw someone who went ape shit, full woke, far left. I think there's a lot of people in the center be like, well, I'm going to just going to vote libertarian, man. I'm going right. to vote for Gary Johnson or some shit. But OK, so who's in right now? So we have Kamala, Kristen Tulsi Gillibrand. Oh, monstrous. Monstrous? <laughs> Ideas. Ideas. Well, when she was 22, she had. No, she's an Assad toady. What does that mean? She is What's a, a toady. I think that I used that word correctly. Jamie, can you check what toady means? Like towing the line? Is that what it means? No, I think it's like a T-O-A-D-I-E. What does that mean? I think it means what I think it means. Toady. Definition of toadies. A person a who flatters yeah. or defers to others I for self-serving right. reasons. A sycophant. So she's an Assad sycophant. My, is that what you're saying? My, yeah, that's pro- That's known about her. Like, what did she say that? that oh, we have to look. Her? I don't. I don't remember the details. We I've probably read should say that before we say that about her. We should probably read it rather. Well, I have read it. No, I mean, I we just, should write oh, now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just so we know what she said. Look I've, up I've Tulsi Gabbard. Look up I really Tul- enjoy talking to her. I like her a lot. Are you serious? Yeah, I like talking to her. Okay, I like okay. talking to her. I don't know about... I think she's like the mother load of bad ideas. Whoa. I'm pretty positive about that, especially on Assad. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Well, my take on her was that I think as a person who's coming from the left, who's also a veteran and uh, is very articulate and sensible and a woman, and in talking to her, we didn't get into Assad or any of those things. But talking to her about what she feels is wrong with the current administration and the way things are running and a direction she thinks things could go in. She had some very promising ideas. I don't I didn't know about this. But doesn't she also did she ever apologize for believing in conversion therapy for I didn't even know she believed in conversion therapy. Am I crazy? Is that real? I'm almost positive this is real. I think her father ran. Con, like when you a say conversion therapy, you're talking about gay people. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, I didn't know that. I never heard that. I'm, I I'm, did hear something about when she was very young. She was like I'm 22. She had said something about gay marriage and civil unions so that she apologized for and said Assad. that she evolved. She reveals she met Assad in Syria without informing top Democrats. I'm telling you, she's... She said she went on a fact-finding mission in support of peace for Syrian people, but characterized U.S.-backed rebels as terrorists. Yeah, she's. I mean, hold on. I, I can keep looking, but I just. I'm I telling don't have you. Time to research everything yeah. all at yeah. the same time. I can come back on when I okay, know more. Okay, but let's but... let's we can do this another time. Okay. But what? Who do you think stands out for you as someone that would make a good president? Yeah, she once touted working for an anti-gay group that backed conversion therapy. Anyway. She once touted working for an anti. She worked for an anti-gay group. She worked for them, like she had a job there. What? You know, I'm worried as a person who's been called alt right adjacent. I'm just looking I'm worried it up. about labels. No, I understand. But you know what I mean? Rep Tulsi Gabbard in the early 2000s touted working for her father's anti gay organization, which mobilized to pass a measure against same sex marriage in Hawaii and, perverted, and promoted controversial conversion therapy. Ooh. Yeah. FYI. <laughs> 